Hey, hey, it's Shay Shay. Welcome back to my channel, guys. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So this is my SAS 2021 summer haul part two. So this is going to be a lot of backups you guys will see in here. A lot of ones that I pretty much stocked up on and just a lot of repeats. So just bear with me. But yeah, I went ham. So I'm happy to show you guys. Let's get right into this huge haul. So the first double thing that I got is this confetti cake pop body cream. I've never owned this. I actually missed out when this first came out and they did bring this back out for SAS. However, the shower gel ran out super fast. I haven't seen the lotion and there was no spray to be found in any person's haul. So I'm not sure if they're gonna bring out the spray. I need the spray in this because I did try off Macari. So I, I fell in love instantly with Confetti Cake Pop. And this was actually probably everyone's favorite too from that line besides Margarita Cupcake. Oh baby, we'll get into that. Confetti Cake Pop smells so good, exactly like what it says. A literal cake pop, cake, vanilla, gourmand smell. The mist that I got on Macari actually lasts pretty much all day, well into the next day. I'm not kidding. The Confetti Cake Pop spray lasts so long, so I hope that if they bring it back, they do not reformulate it. I've been seeing and having trouble with them reformulating a lot of the sprays that I once owned in years prior and now they're they're lighter, they're more watered down, they are just not the same as what they used to be. They're not as potent or long lasting at all. So that's kind of disappointing and I will like show you some in this haul that I think changed but yeah so but I did get two body creams which is very unheard of for me because I do not like getting body creams because they go bad very fast in the collection. You know, I would say eight months to a year. They're supposed to last for like two years, but they do go bad, especially with vanilla. So I'll probably be using these up first. I hate getting body creams, you guys, so much. This is like, uh, but there was no lotion, so I wanted to get it. Oh my goodness. This smells just like a vanilla cake pop. So sweet and gourmand. So good. You also want to be careful because gourmand sweet scents can turn like popcorn funky on some people. But fortunately for me, thank God, I do not have that problem with sweet gourmand scents. So this will do good on my skin because I do have the spray. But just be aware of that. I just want to put that out there. I forgot to say the notes. The notes are creamy cake frosting, rainbow sprinkles, vanilla bean. It literally smells like frosting, vanilla bean, cake, vanilla smell. Smells so good. The next things that I have is the daydream that they brought back. I do not have the mist. I'm on the hunt for the mist. It never came online. I'm waiting for it to come online. Um, I do love daydream. Also a scent I tried on Macari. I never got to try it in the past collection either. I skipped out on this line. I don't know why, but uh, like fortunately for Macari, I did get to try this line again. And daydream was actually, I think my favorite. Besides dance in the rain, but yeah, I love daydream so much. I have two shower gels and I think it's like leaking a little bit so it's like kind of dirty. I'm gonna have to call about that. And here I have two body creams. Again, I really want the mist. I'm trying to realize that I got the shower gel and the body cream without the mist. Even though I do have other mists that I bought off Macari but I do want some, you know, to show up online so I can get some backups to match these as well. So the notes in Daydream are fresh raspberries, sparkling pear, pink lily petals. So like a very fruity, fresh floral note. This is definitely fruity, fresh floral. I know Natalie Grace here on YouTube, love her channel. She doesn't like this scent, but I love this scent. This is so clean. I find pear to be very clean in fragrances, even though it's a fruity scent. It's very like clean, crispy, almost like a dryer sheet smell in my opinion on the skin it turns like that i don't know why because pear does not smell fresh in the fruit of pear but i don't know and pear and fragrances smells very fresh and clean and i love it this is a strong raspberry fruity fresh scent and i do have the candle in this as well and i do love the smell of the candle it's just a straight fruity fresh floral scent i think someone here named connie on youtube as well I'm not sure um, her name because I don't 
watch her channel that much but i do have have seen some of her videos and i think she said that this smelled like a gelato shop um a long time ago in her review and i agree this smells like a raspberry lily pear very fresh and clean dryer sheet like gelato sweet but not really sweet like gourmand but a little bit sweet smell to me it's very unique smelling i absolutely love this and I don't know why, but Daydream always reminds me of Kaleidoscope, but this is not Kaleidoscope. I don't really care for the scent too much, so I did not get any of that. But I do love Daydream, so yeah. I just need the spray to come online, y'all, okay? I need it. Okay, guys, on this next scent, in the same line as Confetti Cake Pop, I went ham ham. This is Margarita Cupcake, you guys. They brought it back for SAS this year. And I do have this thanks to Macari, because again, this sold out super fast. I never could get my hands on the original collection, but I did try some mists um, from Macari, like I said. So I do love the scent because of that. And I'm really disappointed. Going back to um, what I said before about how they reformulate stuff, this doesn't really last. And I don't know if you noticed, but this has a gray top, whereas the old one had a gold or like orange, actually no, I think it was orange top. It was like an orange, like acrylic top, not gray like this one. So that is super, super disappointing. But yeah, this doesn't smell the same. So I'm very disappointed. It's like kind of watered down. It does smell like Margarita Cupcake, the original essence. But it seems alcoholic and watered down and it just doesn't last. Like, and I'm so angry. I thought I was getting the original formulation. So I bought two body creams and I bought six sprays. Look at this. What am I gonna do with this? It doesn't even last or smell the same as the original. I do still like it, but it's definitely not the same. So here's three, and then here's six, and two body creams. So the notes for Margarita Cupcake are Key Lime, Sunny Citrus Blossom, and Whipped Vanilla. So this does smell like a key lime vanilla pie with definitely that citrus blossom, that orangey citrus note is definitely prominent in this the most. And then that key lime and vanilla smell come right after to make it a sweet orangey key lime vanilla scent. Very unique. I've never smelled anything like this, but everyone gets like key lime pie from this. The notes aren't on the back either, surprisingly. But to me, they reformulated this one. Um, I do, again, find that that happened to a lot of the sprays that I'm gonna show you guys. But yeah, except for the new collections. How are the new collections stronger than these ones that were strong in the past? That, that doesn't make any sense to me. It almost makes me not wanna buy any more that they bring back pretty much ever again because it's not gonna be the same as when it first comes out. I just feel like that's my consensus now. I don't know. Let me know if you agree with me, but I feel like they always change it and I don't know why. Yeah, this is a very kinda alcoholic margarita, cupcake, vanilla, sweet smell, like key lime pie, orangey smell with definitely some vanilla in there. But I'm smelling more of the margarita in this one. It's not as sweet as the original one that I remember. That one was like syrupy sweet to me. This does smell like it, but it's in a lighter, alcoholic, watered down form in my opinion. That is just my opinion. So, you know, kind of take it or leave it. But yeah, that's just what I think and I noticed. Definitely disappointed because I went ham. So I'm definitely kind of disappointed. I probably will definitely end up returning a lot of these and maybe keeping one or two of them. Maybe four, I don't know, but I'm not going to keep all of them because like I really went ham thinking it was the original one. It doesn't even have the same top. It's definitely different for sure. But still a good scent. If you never tried this and this was your first time trying it, you probably love it. But to us who have had, you know, the original one, we know that there's a difference. I'm hoping people agree with me. But it still is a nice scent though, so don't be put off by that. But I'm just gonna speak the truth always, so that's what I noticed. And yeah, that's just pretty much it with this. Still love her, but she changed though, she changed. Okay, here is another scent that I think changed. This is Little Black Party Dress, and I got two of them thinking it was the original. And I got a body cream as well. So I have three of these. The notes are Frosted Nectarine, Black Peony, and White Patchouli. So like a very unique, deep, earthy, yet floral, fruity scent. Now this does kind of smell like a baby sister, not a dupe, but a baby sister to Into the Night. 
this still smells so good to me but it did change again it is super light than what i remember little black party dress was super strong on me in the old prior form even last sas the one that i got then was super strong to me this is so light i can almost kind of barely smell it which makes me very not happy with that because i just remember it being very potent and very long lasting it still kind of smells the same it has that original little black party dress essence but it definitely is lighter not happy with this you guys not happy with this bath and body works the prices go up but the quality goes down i just talked about this with someone who messaged me on instagram like the quality goes down but the prices go up for this you know like i don't know I also asked on Instagram, which follow me on Instagram, I did ask you guys if you think that the lasting power is different. Most of you guys said yes. So I know I'm not alone in feeling this way. I feel like a lot of these are lighter than what they used to be. So that's very disappointing, but I mean, it still smells good. If this is your first time smelling it, you probably will like it. But again, for us who owned other prior versions in years like back, we know the difference so it's still good for what it is but i just noticed the change so yeah and this is a very unique scent so i don't know if you may like it if you like patchouli you will like this scent because this is kind of heavy on the patchouli at least which patchouli is a very long lasting note the black peony makes it like very dark but yet sexy this is like a sexy nighttime fragrance and then i do smell the nectarine in there a little bit but i mainly do smell patchouli so you gotta like patchouli to like this the body cream kind of smells like a patchouli musk to me as well so yeah uh kind of disappointed again the next set that i did get backups of and the line of and i do have the set already but it is going away so of course like i said bath and body works takes away scent so you do want to stock up on the ones you love and this is coconut cream pie this does last um it smells super good it was part of the bake shop line that they are getting rid of for the most part they might keep strawberry pound cake i'm not sure but this is going away so coconut cream pie says it has toasted coconut flakes caramel custard golden pie crust this does smell like christmas cookies a scent that they came out with about two almost three years ago um a christmas scent and this does smell like this but in a lighter version and in a coconut bakery version so i did get two sprays i got the body cream i got the shower gel and i got the lotion so this smells straight like that bakery golden crust note for sure but i mainly smell caramel on my skin and when i first spray this this smells like a caramel bomb you guys so if you guys like caramel with a little bit of coconut flakes in there making it a very warm and sweet gourmand scent you will love this it smells super good very sweet very caramel again you have to be careful with that gourmand note because some people said this smells like popcorn on them which thank god i do not have that problem with the gourmand scents um they smell very sweet but you just want to be careful of that but i don't get popcorn from this i get straight caramel and a little bit of coconut and pie crust in there but mainly caramel so good smells so yummy had to get more the body cream actually smells even more gooey like caramel pie in this one more than the spray a little bit it's more like gourmand in the body cream so if you guys like caramel this is probably going to be your favorite spray the next scent i got the set of this is beachfront blanket they had this in prior years but they did bring it back a lot of people love this scent as well so i have the body mist the body cream and the shower gel and i'm making an emphasis on this because you guys know that i only get those fragrance mist in collections i don't normally get the lotion the shower gel the body cream unless i absolutely love the scent so yeah that's saying a lot for this this smells straight like dryer sheets and coconuts smells amazing super fresh linens everything like that the notes are literally fresh white linen summer sun raised soft musk so i find this to be a musky very fresh and clean laundry linen dryer sheet coconut smell i know it doesn't say coconut but i don't know why i get coconuts from this you guys it smells like downy or febreze like just linen laundry smells so good uh smells like a dryer sheet in a bottle i get that musk that dryer sheet and that linen that fresh linen it's so good it smells like you literally just washed your clothes it's super fresh super musky super clean if you guys like a fresh linen laundry straight out the dryer scent 
Actually, I would say you're just getting your clothes off the washer machine, okay? That very fresh dryer sheet, clean clothes smell. You will love this. You'll be smelling so clean out the shower with this one. This beachfront blanket body cream smells so good too, just like the spray. You'll be smelling like the freshest person around with this on, okay? It smells so amazing. And I cannot wait to smell like dryer sheets in the shower. Like that's gonna be a different experience. I uh, cannot wait to use this so much. I did also have this in the past. If I didn't mention that, I used to have this as well, but I'm glad that they brought it back because now I can get backups. I only have one mist of this, so and then it just ran out. So I'm happy to have this again in my collection. And I do need to stock up on this one as well. The next set I have is Strawberry Pound Cake. I do also own this in more forms as well when they brought out the Bake Shop collection, but I had to get backups. Like I said, this is mainly backups on this haul. So the notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, whipped cream. So I have two backups with Strawberry Pound Cake in the spray. And I have the body cream that recently sold out for SAS. Now, I did own this like I said before, and I love this scent. It lasts a long time on me, more than the other two versions that they came out with in that chalkboard and strawberry packaging, because that smelled like whipped cream on the dry down on me. But this one, I smell the whole strawberry pound cake, and this smells exactly like what it says, strawberry pound cake. Nothing more, nothing less. This one lasts longer on me as well and is more sweeter to me in my opinion. I did state that in my Bake Shop collection review. The liquid is red and it does spray out red so you wanna be careful of that along with the next one up, Raspberry Jam Donut. You wanna be careful of the red liquid. But this smells so good and it just smells like a strawberry pound cake so if you like this one and you like strawberries and you like cake, and like that gourmand note of it, you will love this. This is a very yummy scent. The next one that I got backups of, of course, is Raspberry Jam Donut. I have one, two, three, four sprays, a shower gel, and a body cream that I also think sold out as well. So I do, again, own this Bake Shop collection, Raspberry Jam Donuts, my favorite one out the Bake Shop collection. This smells exactly like what it says, a Raspberry Jam Donut, a very sweet, powdered sugar donut raspberry smell super strong super good i love this so much this is for my gourmand lovers and it does smell similar to the santa's blueberry shortbread another christmas scent that they came out with i don't know if they're going to bring that back but this does smell very similar to it so if you miss that scent this will kind of bring memories of it super gourmand super sugary this lasts really long on me for hours and hours on me i know it might be different for you or some other people but this lasts long on me personally in my body chemistry it smells so good you guys uh it smells like i can eat a literal raspberry jam donut right now but i don't have that but it does smell so good so good enough to eat but remember don't eat it oh it smells so good i can't stop smelling it i love this so much i'm stocking up low-key y'all the body cream is just as sugary sweet, just like the body mist. And again, this sprays out red, so you wanna be careful of your light and white colored shirts. You just wanna be careful of that because it will stain them if you spray too much or you know have a light shirt on, so yeah. But I love this scent though, it smells amazing. This is definitely a cuddle scent too. That'll be a whole nother video. The next huge backup collection I have to show you guys is my favorite out of the new summer line that Bath & Body Works just came out with. I have nine things in this collection. This is none other than, guess, denim and daisies. This smells so fresh and clean, a little bit floral, but so pretty and feminine and very light, delicate. It smells so good to me. It doesn't last super long, like about four to five, six hours of pushing it but it smells so good to me so i had to stock up because they're gonna take it away obviously so yeah had to stock up on this one i have four sprays two lotions two shower gels and number nine a body cream that's how much i love this i'm stocking up okay i love the scent so much it's so clean and pretty so like I said, Denim and Daisies is new and I do own one or two sprays of this prior, but of course I'm trying to stock up because it's SAS, that's what you do at SAS, especially when they're gonna take away your favorite scents and this is one of my all time favorites. The notes are Sweet Daisy, Sun Wash Denim, and Summer Citrus, okay? This is so good. 
This smells like you just washed your denim jacket in the best laundry softener and detergent ever. And you're walking through like a daisy like field of flowers. It smells so good. It is a little floral, but daisies tend to be very, I don't know, like they, they just go with aquatic scents. Like this is like an aquatic fresh scent to me. A citrus laundry aquatic fresh floral. This smells so good to me and again, it doesn't last, but it smells so pretty on my skin at first, and it just smells so good. I just had to stock up because I love it, and I will definitely pair this with my perfumes for sure. I'm sure this will pair with a lot of things, but this just smells like, again, you just wash your new denim jacket, you would all denimed up, and you just washed it, you're smelling so good like laundry, and daisies, just so pretty, and that citrus note in there too, so good. I love this so much. This is perfect for every day, every occasion, straight out the shower, clean scent. I love this so much. Okay, this next collection is another one that they brought back. I did own it in prior years. So this was a summer collection and I do like the packaging of this and I do like the scents in this collection. So this first one that they brought back, this is Bally Black Coconut Sands, a very beachy warm coconut scent. The notes aren't on the back. I think they reformulated this whole line as well guys I'm gonna say again yet again because these smell more watered down alcohol like so that's very disappointing but they still do smell good but it is more like light and not very long lasting at all versus the prior years that they were this is kind of a sexy nighttime beachy coconut beach scent to me it's very sexy very feminine kind of sultry musky warm coconut beachy scent very unique i do like this one i don't even like coconut scents and i do like this bally black coconut sands smells really good amazing smells so nice and beachy and warm so if you like coconut scents and beachy scents you will love this smells better than a lot of the coconut scents i've smelled not all of them but a lot of them yes and it does smell the same but it is a little bit lighter to me in my opinion than the other year's version because i do have all of these that i'm going to show you but still smells really good the next one I've also owned before that I still have. This is Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. They did bring this back, reformulated as well. The new one's different than this one um, that I remember though in the older packaging compared to the new one. But they did bring this back in this packaging. And this one smells really good. I like this one better than the new one, honestly. Because some people said it smells like bug spray in the new version, which it does. And it smells very leafy and plant-like to me in the newer one. This one smells super good though. The notes for this are passion fruit, pineapple leaves, and banana flower. This is a very pretty feminine floral, a little bit sweet fruity scent. You definitely smell the passion fruit, but it's not like a crispy, like sharp, tart passion fruit that I find passion fruit to be very sharp and very, a little bit sour, tart smelling. You definitely smell the pineapple leaves. I think that's what's making it sweet, then pineapple leaves smell. And then you do smell like that pretty floral banana flower, which makes it very feminine. This is really nice. I like this a lot. I think I like this the best out of the whole entire collection. It smells really good. Super sweet, super floral, but yet pretty and feminine and very, very juicy, fruity scent. It smells so good. Ah, oh, smells so good. I like this one way better than the new one. The next one is Bore Bore Citrus Surf. So this smells like citrus sweet tarts to me, and I love the packaging, by the way. I don't know, this kind of turns sour on my skin along with this one. In the old versions, I really did like these two a lot, but in these ones, they seem a little bit different. I don't know, but these are more tart and citrus sour smelling to me, both of them. But if you like a citrus, candy, like sweet tart, almost sour head smell, you will love this. It's very tart, a little bit sour, very citrusy, fruity, but it's very kind of potent a little bit in that aspect of the citrus sourness. It doesn't last super long either at all, you guys, but it does smell good like sweet tart. So if you guys like that sour smell, that sour citrus fruity smell, you will love this one. Probably one of the prettiest packagings they came out with as well. Makes me so ready for summer just seeing the package though. And the next one is Tiki Bay Island Margarita. They do still have the Island Margarita scent in various forms, still available, but they did bring it out in body care if you did not know. So this smells very 
just like island margarita it's very fruity but it's a little bit sweeter than the bora bora it's very citrusy island margarita tropical smelling very fruity i'm not sure what's in here but it kind of smells like mandarin or some type of citrus in here it's like a sweet kind of citrus island tropical drink smell it smells really good like citrus maybe some pineapple or something in there but on my skin it turns kind of sour as well i'm starting to notice like i don't know what it is but it just smells kind of sour I don't want to say rotten fruit because it doesn't smell like rotten fruit, but it does smell a little bit weird on the dry down. I don't know what's going on with this one. I used to love this one. I have, I still have three in my collection, I think, that I still need to use up. But this one is, it smells good in the bottle, but on my skin, it's kind of sour. I don't know. So, But with citrus, I guess that's kind of what you can expect a little bit. But it does smell good to me, but it is different also than the original form. The next one is Sugar Cherry Crisp. It came out in the fall in that fall farmhouse collection. A review is way, way back on my channel of that collection. They did bring this one back as well. And Sugar Cherry Crisp is a sweet cherry, like kind of pie smell. Smells really nice. Um, I think, and I don't even like cherries, but this does smell okay to me. A lot of people love it. But this also changed to me because I do have the original one from a long time ago um, when they came out with it. Not a super long time ago, but like prior years. And this also is very light and doesn't last as long either. So I don't know about this. But it does smell kind of sweet cherry pie graham cracker on the skin. Almost like kind of a little bit cherry medicine and car air freshener to me as well. <laughs> but it does smell still nice nonetheless. Just, it definitely changed. It's not as long lasting. I love the packaging on this too. I don't know why, but it kind of smells like cherry medicine to me. Mixed with cherry pie, I don't know. But it still smells good though, even though I'm saying that. I don't know. If you guys like cherry pie, you probably will like this scent with the hint of cherry medicine though. <laughs> okay, and the last five things we have are four hand soaps and one wallflower in this huge haul. Okay, so the first scent is Lakeside Afternoon, and all of these are in the Gentle Gel Hand Soap, because this is my favorite formulation, not the foaming, not the luxe. I mean, I'll take any hand soap. Can't be too picky when we're in a pandemic, but I do prefer the most the Gentle Gel Hand Soap, because I feel like my hands get cleaner with the gel version. But so this is Lakeside Afternoon. Living Ash actually recommended this hand soap. She said it smelled very fresh and clean, so I cannot wait to try it. It's my first time trying this one. The notes are sun soaked lavender, dockside breeze, and fresh rain. Very pretty packaging. So I do smell that rain making it very aquatic. I also do smell like that breezy ocean side smell to it. And then I do smell the lavender. It's a very nice clean aquatic scent. I do like this and it smells good. Next is a huge favorite. I've seen a lot of people haul this and especially in stores and they said that they love this and they have this in the wallflower too. I don't think I have the wallflower though, but everyone loves this hand soap and look how pretty the pink packaging is. This is Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. The notes are marshmallow fluff, vanilla bean, and creamy caramel, so a straight sweet scent. So I definitely smell that vanilla bean and that caramel. It low key reminds me of a baby cousin of Vanilla Bean Noel to me. I don't know why, but it does kind of smell like that. Oh, I'm dropping it. Okay, so it's leaking, I'm trying to smell this, but it's very sugary, caramel, very sweet gourmand hand soap. Marshmallow, vanilla bean, caramel, smells super good. It kind of reminds me of vanilla bean Noel, don't know why, but yeah, this is like super nice and super sweet. I normally don't go for necessarily sweet hand soaps all the time but it does smell good i like normally fresh and clean hand soaps the next two are two of my favorite christmas scents ever so this is mary cookie in the hand soap i never got to get this in the hand soap but i did have it in the body care this is buttery shortbread vanilla bourbon icing and spun sugar so this smells very different than the body care mary cookie completely i think it's completely different notes this kind of smells like a brown sugar smell to me with that bourbon icing and vanilla and that kind of shortbread smell but it mainly smells like brown sugar and icing so very interesting that's not what like mary cookie normally smells like in the body care so kind of shocked about that one and then the last hand soap is my favorite scent one of my favorite scents of all time and for christmas this is winter candy apple this smells so good i get so many compliments in the body care never got the hand soap i don't know why i didn't get it in my favorite scent um that's strange but i do have it now so i can't complain too much 
The notes are red apple, winter rose petals, and candied orange. This is probably one of the freshest scents you'll probably ever smell. It does have that like candied apple note to it, but it smells like apples and roses. It smells like apples and roses, very fresh, very fruity, and a little bit floral, but yet that candied orange also like is in there. It just smells so good. And again, I love this. I get many compliments on the body care and I get it every single year. So finally happy to have this in my collection. It smells super fresh and clean and fruity, amazing. And the last item we have for this part two, very long semi-annual sale haul. This is Evergreen in the Wallflower. I recently had this in my room in the plug-in and yeah, you guys will see that in an empty video, but this smells so good, you guys. Do not let the name fool you because it smells very fresh and clean. So this is a Christmas scent and I got this last year and I'm so happy they had more to bring back. The notes are white fir needles, fresh cedarwood, sweet sap. Now it seems like a pine tree, but I'm telling you guys, it smells super clean. You do get that evergreen scent, but this is like a fresh and clean with a little bit of sweetness to it. That sweet sap is definitely in there. It definitely smells like pine needles, but it smells almost like a dryer sheet, pine needle, sweet sap smell. It is so pretty and so unique smelling. Do not be put off by that piney forest like look of it, of the evergreen, because this smells, this smelled amazing in my room. It made my room smell super fresh and clean and very pretty and feminine too. Even though this could be unisex, but it is leaning more towards the feminine kind of side. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. I'm so happy I got another one. I will definitely be putting this in my room once my other wallflower is up. And I use these a lot. Again, you'll see that in an empties video. But yeah, these are just amazing for my room especially. And I love this so much. This scent is amazing. Who knew I would like evergreen? Who knew? And all right guys, that is the end of this very long haul. So now let's get into my favorites and least favorites of the haul. So we have a top five. My first one and my first favorite is Raspberry Jam Donut. It smells so good in Gourmand. My second favorite is the Fresh Denim and Daisies Dryer Sheet Daisy Scent. It smells so good. My third is the Caramel Bomb. This is Coconut Cream Pie. My fourth favorite is Beachfront Blanket. Super linen, fresh, a little bit musky, very dryer sheet, laundry, clean scent. Smells so good. And my fifth favorite that smells very floral, pretty, feminine, a little bit sweet, fruity, is this Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. One of the longest names I think Bath & Body Works has ever came out with for a spray. <laughs> but it smells so good. I do pretty much like everything that I got, but I do have to pick a least favorite. So my least favorites are Bore Bore Citrus Surf and Sugar Cherry Crisp. And all right guys, that is the end of this long part two 2021 semi-annual sale summer haul. So let me know if you guys are enjoying these. I do have one or two more parts to show you guys after these because I went ham ham, okay? So let me know, did you participate? Did you participate early? I did as a member, um, Bath & Body Works member. Did you guys find any good things in stores? Do you agree with me on the favorites and least favorites? What are your thoughts about them reformulating scents? Again, a lot of you guys said that it does not have any staying power on majority of these fragrances that they brought back. So not really the new ones, I should say, more of the ones that they brought back, even though some of the new ones don't have long staying power either. But let me know your thoughts and let's get right into my quote. If anyone could do something in life, why can't you? If Beyonce could do it, your friend from high school or someone you knew can go for their dreams in life and be happy, why can't you? The answer is you can do whatever you wanna do in life. You just have to put your mind to it, effort, and have faith in a higher power. I believe in God, I will always recommend God. But that's just what I believe. I'm not pushing anything on you guys, but I'm just speaking about my beliefs. Um, you know, just to maybe help someone out there, you know? But in the Bible, it also says, ask and you shall receive. I believe this to be true. Prayer is so powerful. It saves lives. It changes situations. Miracles can happen every day, any day. So just keep praying and don't stop. If it's meant for you and the Lord wills it to be so in his time, it will be for you, okay? It will happen. And I also want you guys to remember on another positive note, say it with me that you are important, your life has meaning, and you, yes you, have value. Never let anyone put you down, be negative, or degrade you. That speaks 
you know, volumes about them and how they feel about themselves. And they're trying to project that negativity on you. You don't need any bullying, negativity, none of that. Always keep your head high. Do not listen to any hater or negative person. And you know, just keep going. I always like to say positive words of encouragement at the end of all my videos, cause mental health is important. And I want you guys to just keep your head up and be positive as best you can. We all go through tough times, but they do not last, okay? Just know that and take one day at a time with everything. And on that note, I hope you guys stay safe, happy. Thank you so much for watching my video if you made it this far. So leave that pink flower emoji if you guys are ready to see more videos and you made it this far. And alright guys, so that's the end of this video. I will see you in the next one. See you later guys. Be blessed.